Good evening. Please, this is our regular sound check. Please give me some feedback if you can hear me well. I believe my internet could be patchy. I will try to fix it right away. Please tell me or put tens in the chat. Actually, I see your tens, your pluses. Thank you. Well, congratulations, friends. Our stake in CIU for CIU was actually heavy demanded. And let's have a look at our slides. I will do my best to address the most burning issues and questions raised by our partners in the chats. Yes, the day was really hot. Next slide, please. Well, we moved from my crypto unit back office on the 10th of March to blockchain and opened our blockchain wallets. And as of the 22nd of March, on the blockchain, there are only 176,000 partners moved to blockchain. It's very little, only 25%. Every fourth is on blockchain, whereas three fourths may not even know that we've done it, that we are already on blockchain for two weeks. And quite recently, there was a case I was driving to office and I receive a phone call. The number is unknown. Maria, so a, a woman is calling me saying, Maria, we are from one city. We are in your structure, although I don't know her last name. And she says, we want our money back. We've been in the project for a long time. And I say, do you know that we are on the blockchain? that we launched the exchange, that tokens could be staked. And she says, no, I don't know. And I'm asking, don't you attend the webinars? She says, no, we don't. And now in the webinar room, in the Russian room, there is over 1,100 people. And we have partners in other rooms as well. And maybe someone actually watches us on YouTube, but most people don't read the news. They may even have forgotten their passwords, but it took us four years, but actually uh, the most patient were rewarded today. The staking plan, CIU for CIU, was a good gift and present to those people who follow the news and actually catch up with the latest updates. And I see over 1,100 partners in the Russian room and in other rooms. I want to ask you, please give phone calls to all those people you once invited to Crypto Unit program. Don't be lazy. Go to your back office. Look at your structure. Text these people or give them some phone calls and ask them, please, move to mo to blockchain it's fun here you can get income in untb some partners already write me that they got some untb in the first days they actually managed to trade them at the exchange and they earned hundreds of us dollars we understand that the issuance of untb is not over in one day so issuance of UNTB will last for another 10 years. And we all together, the owners of uh, CIU and World CIU tokens 
and we will mine UNTB blockchain token UNTB. And another important piece of news, and quite soon there will be an article in the media about our blockchain. And therefore, I want to remind you that throughout the entire history of cryptocurrencies, we managed to do the largest EOS fork. So EOS today includes 2.5 million crypto wallets, accounts based on EOS, whereas we have almost 900,000 accounts from nowhere in two years. Our community, our program managed to mobilize so many participants. And in terms of the scale of the private blockchain based on EOS, uh, there is nothing similar to us uh, in history. We are the largest EOS fork in history. And next week, there will be a lot of articles and publications as many media are interested in our breakthrough. And I believe that tokens price will go up. And since today our exchange actually we are not allowed to say our i may not but say this word as our blockchain our exchange but this is a starting exchange and i warned you at the previous webinars that on the first days the exchange will be a bit clumsy don't make large deposits don't top up large amounts of cryptocurrency or send large amounts of CIUs and expect that you will become rich over the moment, over in instant, almost instantly, as it is still at the stage of its launch and there are some bugs or errors and sometimes people forget to include memo and now there are low volumes at the exchange. In total, five Bitcoins are traded. And if someone uh, deposits half of the Bitcoin, he will actually sweep away all the market. And therefore, we gradually need to increase our volumes. But I believe that gradually it will come to a balance. Well, I don't remember whether we have another slide on blockchain. Quite likely, yes, there will be staking and unstaking. Look, when you unstake CIU for UNTB, it will take you 72 hours. So those updates at 2 p.m., they were the last and now unstaking takes 72 hours and many partners are late as they were waiting for four, for 2 p.m. They wanted to unstake and stake CIU, but tokens disappeared. They pressed the button unstake and CIUs disappeared and they don't know where to find them. They disappeared from your balance because they are on the road. They are not in your access. They are not available to you. The balance of this token, uh, of those tokens unstaked. They are not displayed in your balance. They will be there 72 hours after. And this reminder that unstaking will take 72 hours, we, uh, the IT team failed to do it. And yesterday I noticed this and said, guys, look, at 10 a.m., people are waiting for staking, for staking, do something. So, but they failed to do it by that time. And therefore, it was delayed till 2 p.m. And with this reminder that unstaking will last 72 hours. So they are staying right now and they are working. And I believe as soon as this webinar is over, there will be this reminder of staking lasting 72 hours, unstaking lasting 72 hours. Well, in terms of the registration and verification at the exchange, altogether, the total number of registered is 24,741 as of the 22nd of March. This is the date of the statistics. 
7.5 thousand were verified and uh, 5,380 people are pending and 11,000 did not submit documents for verification and another 743 people who re received rejections in verifications. So don't be stressed and complain that you are rejected. At my previous webinars, we explained to you how the system, verification system Global Pass works and KYC team and AML team. Look, Global, global Pass has a robot. It is done automatically and it scans the document, it reads it, and we compare the full name. And in case the first and last name matches any politician or any criminal, then the global pass automatically rejects. And a person, KYC officer of the compliance unit must go to the profile of this person rejected by global pass and check where is the problem so the first and last name are the same but the father's name is different the town of residence is different and then this kyc officer can actually say that everything is fine with this partner so he cannot do it he need to write he needs to write to global unit pass so that they accept and verify this user and only then when the global pass accepts with a green tick then at the exchange we can accept this person and the same applies to the payment system if it takes you long to verify in the payment system the system is the same uh, the officer sees that everything is fine with you, you are to be accepted, then he texts the global pass, the global pass manually accept you, and then only afterwards, this person will be accepted or verified in the payment system. And therefore, this process is very slow. And I believe, hopefully, that these 743 people this week or next week, you will see a button uh, to repeat your verification. And those people, 5,380 5, who are not verified and still pending, I believe this and next week they will be all verified. So this is the latest update about the registration and verification at the exchange. Next slide, please. Well, until today, up to now, these, these are the data that the first fortunate people to generate their wallets, they managed to stake CIU for CIU, and the first type of CIU of staking CIU for CIU, we had only 133,000, whereas today it is over 1 billion. And it used to be 1 billion 825 million of CIU staked for UNTB, whereas out of this staking, over 1 billion was staked as CIU for CIU. A part of cryptocurrency is kept in wallets by people simply to sell at a favorable rate or simply to transfer or present tokens as a gift, as a present. And now, actually, there is the availability for opening the wallets for partners from outside, from strangers. There is one window which is not adequate, which is not accurate. I spotted it out um, and I informed our IT team. But when you open a wallet and you are an outsider, it's not simple where to send what. Account CA, create CIU, ICC, 
So you need to send to this account 240 UNTB with a memo, but the memo at the exchange is large, is long, whereas here memo is your new wallet. New account is your memo. And I asked IT team to change it so that it's clear that here we need to send it. And here is the field for memo, but it will be changed today or tomorrow. Those partners who need the second wallet, it's clear, those who are outside the system, but many saw that there is a button create and people were in a rush to create uh, the second wallet. I understand that you are hot minded and uh, uh, where everyone is running, you are running as well. But what is the sense of opening a lot of wallets? I am sure that we have a lot of people as we registered our family members, moms, dads, kids, and you have a number of wallets. And at the same time, people are still in a rush to open another wallet. Yes, once I said that in case your amount of CIU is over 1 million, then you'd better split them up among several wallets. And if you are to carry out a peer-to-peer -peer transaction and you are scared that you may be uh, robbed, so then you'd better use smaller amounts. But generally right now, there are no peer-to-peer -peer transactions. I gave you an example of 2016 when Bitcoins were sold when you are at a cafe and having an eye-to-eye -eye meeting or chat. And now it is available online. There are exchanges. And I believe that our partners already set up the black market of peer-to-peer -peer exchanges and take advantage of the transfer of uh, um, tokens from one wallet to another. Next slide, please. Well, regarding the exchange, the first days of trading and our realizations from them. As said before, our partners look at these charts at the exchange and understand nothing. First of all, they top up, then withdraw. There is such a joke about a monkey that the king of the animals decides, the lion decides to separate all the animals into the smart and the beautiful. And the monkey is puzzled. Do I need to uh, break into two pieces because I am on the one hand a beautiful one, a beauty one, and on the other hand, I am a smart one. And our partners actually don't know. They are beautiful and smart and they don't know which buttons to press there. And these black market peer-to-peer -peer exchanges actually frustrates people. They say that the technical support is not functioning, nothing is functioning, but yes, it's true that the burden on our technical support is unbearable and they even don't know which questions to answer. They answer the questions about the payment system, about UGPA back office, the exchange, blockchain. There are some partners who failed to open their wallets. They also provide support. There are those who may not actually um, uh, input their uh, seed phrase and they are really under a high stress and they could not answer all the questions about the exchange. And we made a list of frequently asked questions on the exchange. And I believe by Monday, the latest, it will be published on the website of the exchange. What should I do if I missed up my memo or if the transaction is not received? There is a special email box of the exchange and yes, this email box already has a lot of emails. We understand this, but look, we may not cover and handle out everything in a minute. 
So AML offices confirm deposits or withdrawals, but those transactions lost as one partner was irritated and frustrated, he sent 14,000 CIUs to the exchange where he actually indicated the memo of his US, USDU, USDU deposit. So actually he did something wrong and sent his tokens. Look, when tokens are on blockchain, they won't be lost. Exchange wall, our exchange wallet, but you must have your memo. Then tokens are accrued in a correct way. But if you make a mistake on your own, you do something wrong, it does not mean that the offices of the exchange simply because of your fault of making a mistake, simply uh, don't take care of another 10,000 people who do everything correctly. So first of all, they confirm the deposits and withdrawals of those partners who did everything in a correct way. But those who made a mistake, they will need to wait long, maybe two weeks, because physically we don't have the labor force to cover and to handle the grievances of all those who are in a hurry. You are in a rush. I don't know which train you would like to catch up with. You are in a hurry to press any buttons you see and you expect us to handle your uh, complaints or your problems in a hurry as well. I warned you, don't be in a hurry. Exchange will not disappear. Your tokens will not disappear. It simply takes time to start this list of the transactions lost to start processing it and don't expect us that sooner than monday there will be some offices starting handling them regarding withdrawals many people also write that i pressed to withdraw on the 22nd of march for instance and i haven't received my tokens yet look most of these how to word it correctly. Why the withdrawal of money was not carried out. So the first reason is when you withdraw to zero. To say, suppose you have one Ethereum or one or 0.1 Bitcoin and you order to withdraw the whole amount, one Ethereum or 0.10, of Bitcoin, but you do, do not reserve a commission. And as soon as this transaction is stuck, the exchange may not send it as it writes down uh, not available balance to pay this fee. This is a technical bug It's not actually in a, presented in an accurate way so that you remember that the commission should be uh, retained. Uh, and to date, this bug has already been fixed, but those uh, orders that were placed starting from the 20th of March or even earlier, they are stuck. They are not at the exchange because your balance was not enough to pay the fee, the commission. And we have about 93 uh, transactions stuck for the withdrawal in Bitcoin and seven uh, applications for withdrawals in EOS and about 20 applications for withdrawal and Ethereum. Not a lot. And we will try to handle them all tomorrow or latest the mon Monday, as Saturday and Sunday, our IT team and IML offices are at weekends for the time being, and we may not expand the payroll because the exchange is very costly and we have very high cost for the technical maintenance and support 
uh, rental of servers. So the personnel is enough in case there are no errors. Everything is done automatically and instantly. So there is no sense in recruiting a person for one week and after the load is lower. So then we need to fire him. Yes, for USDU, there are some applications that are still pending. Not many of them, but there are some. And the reason is the same. Since the balance was not enough to pay out the charge, the fee. And the second reason why some applications are stuck, you will start laughing, but it is the truth. Our partners, the address of the wallet, for the withdrawal of crypto, when they indicate this address, they indicate there anything they like. They may write down the street, their email address, their login at the exchange. You can find any variants. When we see the error, when the transaction is not carried out in an automatic mode, and the explanation ad address may not include 13 digits. So the address is 12 digits, but we see that there, there is a mess instead of an address. You are actually, we are pissed off and we have what we have. Sometimes it may happen. And as I said before, this technical error with the fee has been fixed. And starting from today, it will be clear, but those that are stuck, we will try to process them tomorrow. Well, the next slide, please. Limits and commissions. Well, limits and commissions. The maximum amount of a transaction for top up and withdrawal for deposit and withdrawal is 1000 US dollars. Yes, we understand that the amount is small and quite likely we will check the correctness of the work of the wallets. Look, in case everything is withdrawn in large amounts, the financial losses of the people will be much higher at the exchange rate difference than at a smaller transaction amount. For instance, he orders something in places and order in Ethereum, but then it is on the way and the exchange rate changes and a partner actually uh, says that he is at the loss. So uh, because of uh, this uh, processing, but the withdrawal of the money is slowed down and I lost some money. But because he sold crypto units, Ethereum is with him. And sooner or later, the rate of the Ethereum will be up again as it is volatile. And therefore, you see smaller limits so that during the process of your adaptation and exchange adaptation and the process of its fine tuning, we are doing our best so that people are, are not hungry to top up millions. So the limits will be increased gradually, as said before. Maybe starting from the 1st of April, we will expand the limits for the uh, top up and withdrawal. Next slide, please. Yes, this one, it is of no relevance anymore. Actually, I feel pity. We were hopeful that 3 billion CIUs will be available loan for staking, but quite likely that everyone selected the staking plan Eventy as the most beneficial and we are run out of 3 billion tokens and the most frequently asked question is about conversion of ciu into world cius and the fee what will happen to my ciu tokens three years after when the 70 uh, 
staking is over or what will happen to my CIUs one or two years after, how I will exchange CIU into world CIU two or one year or three years after. And you must be very attentive here and even write it down. And I will repeat it again and again. CIU into world CIU is always exchanged one to one. And it is already embraced into our smart contract. 35 billion CIU and 35 billion of world CIUs, they are for conversion, for exchange. It is, it is always going to be one to one. But what's going to happen, what's going to change in one year, the commission for the conversion. Right now, it ranges from $1 to $100, the maximum commission. Even if you move 10 million CRUs to 10 million world CRUs, you will pay just $100. But in one year, the market of unlocked world CRUs will appear. And we really don't know what the world CRU and CRU price is going to be in one year. You can't really predict it today. And of course, for the conversion of one to one from CRU into world CRU, the commission for that uh, will be charged by UGPay Group, which is the holder of world CRU tokens, the digital shares. And of course, UGPay Group, if they see in one year that the exchange difference is very big, like world CRU, CRU costs $1 and world CRU costs $5 then you will have to pay that difference with live money, with pocket money, the uh, difference on the conversion. But again, conversion is uh, entirely voluntary, voluntary, whether you want to exchange it in one year, in two years, in three years. If you don't want to change it, don't change it. Just in uh, that period of time, you will have to ass assess the financial benefit it's like 280% income for staking and the commission for conversion. Maybe you won't want to sp spend money on conversion. I don't know what's going to happen in three years. What kind of the, what kind of exchange rate uh, CRU and world CRU will have. And everyone says, ask when this period starts this year. World CRU tokens started, the sale of World CRU tokens started on the 10th of February, 2021. Therefore, the first unlocked World CRUs, the first unlocking of World CRU will happen on the 10th of March, 2022. So one year plus 30 days. So this is the year when we're going to see what the price of the unlocked World CRU is at the exchange um, before February, March 2022, we can't really know. We don't know what's going to happen with World CRU token. What's the market price is going to be? We know only the price at which the company is ready to sell those tokens. Next slide, please. Okay, we have here a huge request for you guys. So pay attention. People never watched the training video for the exchange. They rushed off to start trading. And I really hoped that our partners would um, film, record that training video, but everyone is um, watching, uh, waiting for me to do it. But, uh, I think Dina and I, Dina from the support service and I um, have lost our sleep. We don't eat. We're all the time uh, working. People are calling us saying something got disappeared. They lost something, et cetera, et cetera. So guys, I really have no time to film a video on exchange trading. If maybe some of our partners know how to do that, please do. Please uh, film a video and... Um, just pay attention 
to the fact that uh, in your exchange training videos, what you don't have to do in those videos. Uh, the markets, the market haven't, hasn't yet uh, formed. So don't do market orders. This is recommendation number one. Do not place market orders in the exchange because the markets are now kind of distorted. They do not reflect the real price. We have um, not so many traders. The volumes are not that high. And when people want to buy or something at the market price, um, it can cause uh, some unpleasant consequences. For example, there was a person who placed an order buy order for Ethereum at $100, $200, $700. And people without understanding how to watch the, how to read the order book, which is on the right. No, they put their one and a half Ethereum for sale at market price and they were sold at $100. And those ladies were very upset they were writing in all the chats like guys who bought Ethereum at $100, please give it back to us. But this is exchange. This is not a sandbox anymore. So in other words, they bought an exchange trading lesson for $3,000. Uh, today I saw that someone bought or sold Bitcoin at $100,000. Someone placed a sell order for Bitcoin at $100,000. Yes, they did buy $5. I mean, it was $5 worth, but still people, you know, you, what they do, they have nothing to better, not, nothing better else to do. And they start placing those really insane, weird orders, uh, hoping that there will be people who don't know, don't have a clue what they're doing, would fill in those orders, like buy Bitcoin for $100,000. Not one Bitcoin, of course, like 0. 0.000 something Bitcoin, but still, it's like money lost, right? So I'm sorry, my phone is ringing here. Let me turn it off. Beg your pardon. Uh, it's never stopping, by the way. I mean, I don't know what to do with my phone now. I will call them back. So someone placed an order to sell euros at $100. For example, I have 84 euros on my balance. I want to sell, sell those 84 euros at $100. And we like watching those orders and ask ourselves how stupid you can be to place uh, such an order. I mean, should we now like go and look who placed it? So someone took 84 euros and put a, again, sell order at $100, not for $100, at $100, meaning that they want to sell 84 euros for $8,400. So guys, uh, when you click without really paying attention, you might, might uh, come across such orders and we cannot do anything about it. This is the order placed by the person, by the owner, and only the owner can cancel it, revert it. We could go and check one by one, one all the orders, but this is not realistic. And those ladies who sold Ethereum for $100, they um, try to have their money back, but I don't know. And maybe people who taught them how to do it don't know how the exchange works either. Okay. Um, so someone says that UNTB isn't accrued for staking CRUs. Uh, I don't know why, because I checked it and uh, it is mined. Maybe your amount in the CRU is not that big. So if you click on the renew button every half a minute, then maybe you are accrued so few UNTBs that they, they are not even shown on the screen. And if you take 49,000 unlocked CRUs, then you can perfectly mine your UNTBs. 
someone is calling me, I guess something must have, must have happened. So the CRU staking for CRU is over. 3 billion CRUs that were intended for as a reward for staking CRUs are over. They've been exhausted. Now let's we'll move on to the next slide. I, a, a second attempt at the verification will be given next week. At first, we will go through those people who are trying to verify for the first time. And then um, those who are trying to do it a second time, time will have a second go. And uh, still, you can uh, trade without being verified within $500 limit. And then when you go through the verification, your limit will be increased. Yes, uh, we have very little time left before our wonderful event in Dubai. I know that many of our leaders have uh, left for Dubai already, getting ready for our celebration, the second anniversary of Crypto Unit Program. And if you want to uh, watch all of our leaders live, and uh, learn the plans of the company for the next year, of course, you should buy tickets or access to the uh, online uh, event. It will be 80 units before the 28th of March. And after that, it's going to be 100 units. And the broadcast will happen on the 30th of March in two sessions. The first session, it will be from uh, 10 to 2 p.m. and from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Moscow uh, time. Uh, and the, the program is quite, um, it's quite intensive, it's quite, So we have a lot of questions uh, and I'm not going to, I'm not, I won't be able to answer all of them. So those, um, the time is not entirely correct, I think. It should be 11 a.m. Moscow time to 11 or 12, um, oh, sorry, 11 a.m. Moscow time to 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. Moscow time. So it's like 12 hour, 12 hour event in two sessions. So someone is asking a very good question that indeed uh, there was no unlocking um, on blockchain. Yes, there was this problem and it has been uh, rectified. You have to click uh, refresh frozen and refresh balances. So the English chat, please read what Ainsley wrote. So this is, should be the correct uh, timing for the uh, summit 2021. And also on blockchain, uh, you can uh, check all the smart contracts and all your frozen uh, items. So when you, not inside the wallet, you need to uh, log out of your uh, account and then you put in the wallet address in the search address and you will see general information about your wallet and you can see contract calls uh, button. So it should sound something like that, contract calls. You find that, but you have to log out first. And then in the search engine, search line, you put your wallet address. And then you will see all the unfreezing dates when you're going to receive your um, next uh, unfrozen CRUs. So, for example, you can understand that when it's unlocking on the 19th of February, then add 30 days. You, it means that uh, in 30 days you can refresh and you will have your unfrozen or unlocked CRUs. If your last unlocking in the contract calls was on the 30th of March, 13th of March, 4th of March, then it's not, it has been 30 days yet. So you have to wait when it happens. So sometimes it comes to your back office, but it doesn't come to your 
crypt to your blockchain wallet you have to give it time there might be some delay in the synchronization go to the menu on contract calls outside your wallet and you will see all the dates when your last unlocking happened people who complain that they are unlocking refresh unlocked doesn't work they now don't complain anymore because it's now there So the question that is of concern to many, many people, when CRU can be converted into world CRUs? Good, good question, but I don't know the answer to it. I'm sorry. Um, we really hoped that it's going to happen on the 1st of April, but today I take, took a look at the um, readiness degree of that functionality. And by the 1st of April, um, we will there will be um, the possibility to convert unlocked CRUs into locked world CRUs. And I told the developers, guys, this is not okay. I mean, people will not exchange their unlocked CRUs into world CRUs because they can stake their CRUs for UNTBs. And the whole idea was to convert locked CRUs into locked world CRUs to receive UNTBs. And it was kind of a revelation for the developers and um, they didn't think that that's what was supposed to happen. And uh, they couldn't give me an estimation. I told them, wait, 5th April, 10th of April, 15th of April, just tell me and we'll be waiting. And now they take some, have taken some time to think about it. Maybe tomorrow they will give me the answer. So maybe tentatively somewhere in April. I don't know when though, guys. Okay. I'm really worried about someone uh, calling me here i will have to go and uh, call them back i'm sure it was it guys with some uh, new problem so guys see you all on the 30th of march at the summit thank you very much for your attention and bye bye